A dude on a motorcycle. Just landed into Okanda. Diani Beach. No fence next to the runway. There were some cows out there. Oh, there's some people out there. And some goats. Hey, just landed into uh, Kunda Airstrip in Kenya. You can kind of see the, the area here. So yeah, now we're gonna have, look for our bags, look for our driver, and head to Ghazi Bay. Hey, this is Corey from Destin Imagery. Uh, I'm here in Ghazi Bay, Kenya. Uh, at the mangrove site and um, we're here to do a virtual tour uh, and some videography of the methodology used uh, to um, when they gather the data to measure how much carbon is stored in these environments so yeah we're gonna do a virtual tour of that we're gonna do some 360 video of it and hopefully we'll be able to get up and do some maps of the area with the drone So we uh, we finished up the uh, the two sites that they were doing the above ground assessments on, and uh, yeah, I got a lot of nice video and photos and whatnot. Yeah, now we're trying to get back out because the tide is coming in very rapidly, and we don't want to be swimming. So yeah, but as you can see, we flip it around. As you can see, it ain't easy moving. So, going as fast as we can. This is uh, an imagery team again. So, we made it out of the mangroves. You can believe it was uh, like a K and a half one direction and less than a K back. But like, hardcore mud, 90% humidity. It was pretty, uh, it was pretty sweet. Interesting one. <laughs> yeah. it was the mangroves were awesome though. They were great. Got a lot of good footage while we we're in there. Looking forward to getting it back, getting processed, getting some ice cold to drink. Uh, we'll see you guys. <laughs> again distant imagery I am in the mangroves in Ghazi Bay now uh, in Kenya uh, just kind of to the south of Diani Beach and uh, about a hour or so north of the uh, Tanzania border and um, we're still out here doing the, the virtual tour today we're doing more stuff about uh, the importance of mangroves for fisheries and for uh, coastal erosion protection um, and for uh, something else. Uh, they also do plantations for harvesting the wood here and I think they're going to look at maybe starting some for um, honey. Um, yeah, it's been good. It's awesome, beautiful place. Highly recommend if you're in Kenya and get a chance to come out to this area or if you've got some free time definitely come out and check it out amazing habitat amazing ecosystems so much wildlife birds crabs fish um, out 
in front of me that you can't see, there's a, a coral reef out uh, near the, the front of the bay, apparently. So I've been told. So there's probably a lot of really nice snorkeling. There's seagrass in the bay here. So just loads of, of uh, diversity. Um, it is a bit hot and humid, so I'm struggling to catch my breath. But uh, yeah, um, with one of the guys out with the drone doing some mapping. And uh, we're gonna get back, do a little lunch break, and uh, check out some of the imagery, and then get back to it. See ya. So this is what it looks like around me right now. Got the mangroves, and just beyond that, you got the shoreline with the coconut palms. A lot of fish and crabs in there. And then swing around to this side, you got the bay. And then you got some people out there fishing, more people fishing over there, and then open ocean. It's quiet, it's peaceful. You just want to have a nice, relaxing time, a little short relaxation bit if you're around. This is the place to be. So here's something that's quite cool. I think. I think it's a freshwater spring up through here. Uh, just kind of right in the middle. You can see the mangroves behind me there. And then I rotate around. There's the ocean. So it's right out, like just past the mangroves. Let's stop it, flip the camera around. Yeah, so right out past the mangroves, and then we try to gently scroll down here. And you've got this like hole in the coral there. I don't know if you can see it in camera or not, but there's water flowing out of it. It's significantly colder than the water around it. So I don't know if it's just really cold salt water or if there's actually fresh water coming out into this area. But I will, uh, I'll have to ask uh, James, Dr. James Cairo, the, the person that we're here with, and uh, then I'll have to get back to you on that one. And I'm back. I made it. Um, so yeah, made it down the beach, made it off the beach, and uh, went into uh, the spot just kind of behind us down that road there. Um, that's where they've, do, they've uh, replanted the area for forestry. So they've replanted the whole area, let it grow, and now they're gonna uh, remove the mangroves for, for uh, the wood in uh, small strips, with narrow strips. So then they do that, so then the mangroves uh, naturally repopulate. So they don't like strip the whole thing clean or anything. They just take it out in, in, in narrow areas, let it re rejuvenate, and then take it out again. Um, side note, that, uh, that water that I saw coming out of the ground back there, that is fresh water. Um, when the tide is low, you can see uh, holes in the coral all up the the, uh, the bay area and uh, so that's where some of the fresh water comes from that uh, helps the mangroves to survive so luck would have it I was correct mostly just a lucky guess I'm here in uh, Vanga uh, Na uh, Kenya uh, right down near the Tanzania border and we are getting ready to hop out into some mangrove areas here where they've done some restoration with uh, um, uh, blue forests. Um, yeah, so it should be really interesting actually. I don't know, it's probably too far away to see, but they're really big root systems, uh, kind of like having to climb, climb around them and everything. And uh, down amongst the roots, there's supposed to be a lot of fish and crabs and uh, yeah, so it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. And uh, we'll see you when we get in there.
all the measurements and data collection and now we're heading back to the beach. Hopefully the tide will be up so the boat will be able to get in closer. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> not, not work related in any way, shape or form, but we are uh, just trying to get down to this point right here, up here a little bit farther, where uh, we can just kind of step across the border into Tanzania so we can say that we've been to Kenya and Tanzania in one trip. So it looks like at the end of this dirt road here, there's a village that the border just kind of cuts right through. So we're gonna give it a try and see if we can make there. And if anything goes wrong, it's Sean's fault because he was one, the one that wanted to do this. His fault, right? Nope. And <laughs> yeah, we're going. We're doing this. <laughs> Just paid the toll to get across the bridge. Tanzania, that direction. We made it. We walked across the border from Kenya into Tanzania. Got a little Google Maps location deal on one side and the other side, and then there's a like a, a border uh, stone or something. We got photos there as well. So, yeah, we straight walked across the border. So Kenya's that way. Tanzania's that way. Back to Kenya. Thank you. 